Welcome all. In this video, I will be teaching you how to create a rock paper scissors game in Python. This is the game we are going to build. On running, it will give us an option for selecting game points. Let's say five. Then it asks user for a choice of paper and scissor. I am choosing paper. After hitting enter, it shows me what computers choose. So here, computer choose scissor. And as Caesar beats paper, the computer got a point and player got zero point. Now it's again asking for a choice. Let's say row. Now it's saying computer also choose row. So it's a tie. No point to anyone. Now let's choose another option. I choose Caesar and computer choose paper. So Caesar beat paper. I got one point. So currently score is one one and when the score of any of player reach 5, then game is stopped, final winner will be declared. So this is the game we have to build today. Let's start creating it. Okay, so as we know, in rock, paper, scissor game, there are three choices, scissor, paper, and rock. And scissor is going to beat paper, paper beats rock, and rock beats scissor. So keeping in, keeping it in mind, we will be creating our game. First of all, create a list of choices. Enter the name of your choice. Here we have rock, paper, and scissors. These are the choices which users can choose during play. And after that, we are also keeping note on points of player and user. So initially, make them zero. First of all, uh, let's say player points as p point and give it value zero. Similarly, for computer points, let's say p points and give it also value of zero. These are the points for computer and these are for player. Now we will ask user to enter the game point. So for that we can create a variable name point. And as the game points will be of integer type, so use int. Then we have to use input for taking inputs. And here we can write our message that we enter the game points. After that, we know that game is going to run until any one of player hits the game point so let's say a game or game points are five so if player one score five earlier then game will stop there and if computer score five points earlier than player then also game stops there so for this condition we can write while p points are less than points which are the total game point and C points are also less than points. So let's. I'm creating a variable name player for storing user choice and for taking a string input, just use input directly and, and give your message here. I'm saying your choice. Now, user will have to choose one out of these rock, paper, and figure. And the value which user enters will get stored in this player variable. After that, we have to get a choice from computer also. Let's create a variable computer for getting computer choice. And now, if computer is going to play, it has to randomly choose from these three choices. For choosing a random number we have a random class in python so we can import use it by writing this import random and now simply write random dot choice there is a choice function in random class and inside this you choice parameters you can write the list name for which a choice is to be made so here we are going to make a choice from this choice list so i'm writing this here let me just 
quickly show you how this random feature and this choice is working. Import random, create a list and pass something in it like two, four, five, six. And I am printing a random choice. List of choices. This file contain two, four, five, six. When I run this code, then my output will be one of these two, four, five, six random. Here it's giving me five. When I again run it, it's also giving five. Then two, two, four. And I hope this random choice method is clear to you. Now let's get back to our code. First of all, let's check if uh, there is a tie condition or not. If when a tie will occur, a tie will occur if computer and player both have selected the same choice. So for checking it, we can use if player is equal to computer. Then simply print it's a tag. Or else if what we are going to check is player in choice means user choice is on this list only and if that condition meets then we will have to check what our computer choose so our computer have three choices to select if computer call equals rock means computer choose a rock other condition can be if computer choose Caesar and other will be if computer chose paper. If computer chose rock, then we have to check what player choose. So player is equal to is equal to Caesar. Or other condition can be if player is equal to paper. And the third condition we don't have to check for rock because if player also chooses rock and computer is also choosing rock, then this condition will be out here only. Our code, this part of code will not be executed. So only these two conditions are can occur if computer is choosing the rock. Here computer is choosing rock and player is choosing sir. So in our game rules, rock is beating user. Means computer is beating player. So who will get a increasing point? Computer. C point will be increased by one. C point plus C is equal to one. This will increase the point for computer. And otherwise player points will be increased. Now coming to the Caesar part, let me just paste the code here. And if computer chose Caesar, then player must have chosen one from rock or paper here because Caesar condition will be again for here. And check for rock and Caesar. So rock beat season means player is beating computer. So player point will be increased. And for paper and scissor, scissor is beating paper. So scissor is beating paper, computer is beating air. So point for computer will increase. Now similarly for this condition, we have scissor and rock choice for player and for paper and scissor again scissor beats paper means player is beating the computer so player will get a point and for rock and paper paper will beat rock so computer will get a point after that we can just check who won so for final result when this while after while condition means one of the player reached the game points we can just check 
if p points player points are greater than c points means computer points then just print q bond as player bond here otherwise else print computer bond can do some other changes like every time we can print what computer chose the choice is and then pass the computer's choice here after every choice is made we can print current score of player and computer simply print player and after comma write the variable name for player points this and again give a comma and inside this inverted commas write computer then after comma write the computer points let's run our program now enter the game points let's say three first of all make a choice i'm choosing rock here computer choose paper and as paper beats rock so computer got a point now I am selecting paper, computer choose rock, I got a point. It's a tie. I got point. And finally, when I reach three points, which I got the game, which are game points, then it shows me who won. If computer reached three points earlier, then it shows me the one. And one more thing I missed was that if player's choice is on is not from the choice list then we have to give a message that please select a choice from paper that when user write something else other than choices then it will display a message choosing one from this so that's it for this video you can do other modifications also on your own like uh, Every time a point is incremented, then display that computer got a point or player got a point. 